Welcome back. This video is about AWS Availability Zones, a very important topic concerning AWS fundamentals. AWS has data centers all over the world in many countries. For instance, on the U.S. East Coast, there are AWS data centers in Northern Virginia and Ohio. In other words, in AWS terms, AWS has a region in Northern Virginia and a region in Ohio. The general concept is that each AWS region has many data centers. Let's take the AWS Ohio region as an example to understand availability zones. As I said earlier, each AWS region has many data centers. Data centers that are near one another are considered to be part of one cluster. That being said, the Ohio region has three clusters of data centers. Each cluster is called an AWS Availability Zone, or AZ. So as you can see, in this example, the AWS Ohio region has three AWS Availability Zones. Each Availability Zone, like AWS region, has a code associated with it. Another important point is that availability zones within an AWS region are connected with the AWS private network. One crucial point here is that, in this example, the number of data centers in each AZ I have shown here is just for understanding the availability zones concept. The actual number of data centers in each AZ may be different. So the takeaway is that each AWS region has many data centers. These data centers are grouped into clusters. Each data center cluster is called an AWS Availability Zone, or AZ. Review Availability Zones on the AWS Global Infrastructure webpage for more ideas. So I'm on the AWS Global Infrastructure webpage. Let's scroll down to the AWS Global Infrastructure Map section. As it says here, AWS Cloud spans 81 availability zones within 25 geographic regions worldwide. On this map, there are two types of circles. One is in blue and the other one is in red. The blue color ones are AWS regions, and the red color ones are not yet available. They are just planned. Now let's review some regions to find out about their AZs. Let's start with Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia has six availability zones. Let's look at Ohio. As you can see, Ohio has three availability zones. On the West Coast, Northern California has three availability zones. Let's visit Europe. London has three availability zones, and Frankfurt has three. Bahrain has three availability zones. The UAE AWS region is coming soon. In India, Mumbai has three availability zones, and the region in Hyderabad is coming soon. Did you notice an interesting pattern here? Most of the AWS regions that we went over have three AZs except Northern Virginia, which has six availability zones. In general, most of the AWS regions have three AZs, now, you have a conceptual understanding of AWS Availability Zones. Let's go through it in some more detail. An Availability Zone is one or more discrete data centers with redundant power, networking, and connectivity in an AWS region. Each Availability Zone has its own power supply and on-site backup generator, and they are connected via different grids from independent utilities, so as to avoid a single point of failure for any power outage. All AZs within an AWS region are interconnected with high bandwidth and low latency networking between AZs. Availability zones are separated in an AWS region. Availability zones are located away from the city and are in lower risk flood areas to avoid flood or any other damage to the data centers. AZs are physically separated by a meaningful distance, many kilometers, in many instances, from any other availability zones. Availability zones have codes as well, like region. For instance, an availability zone code has a region code plus a letter added at the end. For example, Ohio region has region code US East 2. And this AWS region has three availability zones with their code as US East 2A, US East 2B, and US East 2C. If you notice, a letter has been added to the end of the region code to get the AZ code. Let's talk about availability zones from the solutions architecture perspective. Redundancy and replication are architectural techniques to increase software applications, high availability, and fault tolerance. That being said, to provide redundancy, AWS allows replication of resources and data in multiple availability zones, which helps avoid data loss and provides high availability to the deployed applications. 
All traffic between AZs is encrypted. Synchronous replication between AZs can be performed. However, replications across regions don't happen automatically unless organizations explicitly want to perform them. The reason is that AWS regions are separate, and they are not connected with the AWS private network, unlike AWS AZs. AZs are connected with AWS's private network. That's it for this lecture. I hope you liked this lecture and got a good understanding of AWS availability zones. You can read more about AWS availability zones on the AWS Global Infrastructure webpage.